YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys. Welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year. <laughs> I know it's March, which is wild, but you know what I realized? My new year starts like a good two months into the year. This whole starting the year in January thing is for the birds. And I realized that for sure this year. So I've been easing into 2024. Let me know in the comments how your year has been shaping up thus far. I wanna know, let's chat. But I've really missed you all. And I wanna say a huge thank you because I read every single comment on my life update video and y'all were so kind. Y'all were so thoughtful. I'm gonna show some of the comments here on the screen. I mean, y'all remind me why I do what I do. It amazes me how much y'all show up for me. And the encouraging words that y'all shared on that video were where it was just really touching. And a lot of y'all are very vulnerable about your experiences as well. Thank you for that because I do want this space to be a place where we can get deep and vulnerable with each other without fear of judgment. I hope you took something from that life update video, especially if you've been going through a breakup like I have. But we're in a new year now and I'm really just trying to move forward with my best foot forward and really get back into creating content because, well, creating content for YouTube. Cause be clear, I've still been very active on Instagram and TikTok, but something about setting up my camera and sitting down with y'all is like extra personal, maybe because y'all are special to me. <laughs> YouTube's my baby. And it also takes a lot longer to edit this type of content. Even though I've gotten used to doing short form, I will never ever let go of YouTube. I love y'all too much and I love creating content for this platform too much. And I think it's time that I get back into a rhythm with y'all. So right now the goal is twice a week but I'm easing into that, so just bear with me. All right, let's get to business. Let's get to the reason why you're here. And if you're new here, I have done a lot of wig content on this channel for the past five years. Also, do y'all know my five year anniversary was in January? What? <laughs> That's crazy. We're gonna celebrate at some point. I just didn't have the energy to come on here and do it. I do a lot of wig content, but I also do fashion, some travel vlogs as well. But right now we're focusing on the hair. This is the wig we have today. Sensational, what, what, what's, what's going on, honey? We trying to bring the heat in the new year, and I'm here for it. I talked about this wig a lot on Instagram. People were really feeling it. I was just sh showing the wig straight out the box. I do have a series called Straight Out the Box Sundays that I do on there, but I am gonna bring it to YouTube Shorts as well. And we got a wig with Kinky Edges. Y'all know that Kinky Edges was the wave in 2023, okay? Even though I wasn't on here like that, I still saw what people were putting down, and I liked what I saw. So I was like, you know what? Someone's gonna come out with the wig with Kinky Edges on a synthetic wig, and Sensational did it. Now let me just forewarn you, I did some short form content with this wig, so half the lace is cut off and tinted, but I saved the rest for y'all. This is what it's looking like straight out the pack. We have Kinky Straight 24, a kinky texture. This is definitely Kinky Straight. This wig is supposed to be glueless as well, so I'm gonna try to apply this with no glue whatsoever. It comes with HD lace. You have two combs here in the front, comb in the back, and you have an adjustable elastic band. You can adjust it like so. We love that. And of course, adjustable straps. Now, if you are curious about this wig on my head, this is a human hair wig. I've been wearing it nonstop since December, and I love it, and a lot of people on my other platforms love it too. Highly recommend. I'll leave a link for it in my description box. It's from Amazon, and it's like $95 for 26 inches. I mean, oof, I, I just love it so much. You should check this out. I'm actually thinking of buying a whole new wig and just showing y'all what it looks like straight out the pack to completion. If you want to see that video, let me know in the comments as well. But let's get into this, this synthetic wig honey we're gonna take this beauty off and we're gonna put this one on and i'm gonna talk through this tutorial y'all keep telling me that y'all like when i talk while i do these tutorials so i will do just that okay so you're gonna see half of my work that's been done here i swear one day i will get a zoom lens but today is not the day as you can see these are the edges that we are working with here straight out the pack and this is what it looked like once I tinted it and also once I used heat on the edges. As y'all can see, these edges don't match this kinky straight hair. So I applied heat. What do y'all think? Y'all see the difference, right? This and this. Okay, so we're gonna do the rest of this right here on camera. Fun fact, I do not like cutting lace 
on my head. I don't like doing that. Hold on, because I can't see what the hell I'm doing. But what I will say is, please cut in a jagged motion, okay? Because it just makes it blend better. The goal of today's install is to wear this glue list. And judging on what I already did on this side, I think we're gonna make it work. As far as the cap, I feel like this cap is sitting very comfortably on my medium size head. My circumference is 22.3 inches. But if you have a larger head, I think it'll work fine for y'all as well. You may not wanna use the adjustable elastic band. It's up to you. So here's, here's how we get it to look like this, y'all. This is what I've been using for what, like two years now. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Foundation in the shade D90. This is super important because this is what gets the lace to blend to my skin. This is like a shade darker than me and I use a shade darker because the perimeter of my face is going to be darker naturally, especially if I contour. So it just makes sense It's in order for it to blend with the rest of my makeup here. And even on days where I haven't worn makeup, I still, you like to use this liquid foundation to wear a glueless install. The reason why I prefer liquid foundation over powder is just the fact that the liquid penetrates the lace better in my opinion. I feel like in the past using powders has made my application a little bit chalky sometimes. I don't know, I just felt like it wasn't the cleanest application. Whereas with the foundation, I'm more satisfied. So that's just a little pro tip for all my beginners out there. Consider using liquid foundation and see how you feel. We're gonna put some of this. I'll put a lot on here. I'm gonna show y'all how this is gonna start blending. So, as soon as I put this on, look at how the lace starts to disappear. Like, like, do you see what I'm putting down? Do you see what I'm putting down on the screen right now? Look at how the lace disappears. Honey! Y'all gonna get me excited. <laughs> I love to see it. This is my favorite part when I do glueless. My absolute favorite. It's like a magic trick that never gets old. Now for the corners here, if you're gonna wear this glueless, you'll notice that this is flipping up here. One thing I like to do, I like to just fill that in like with a Sharpie or with a dark brown eyeliner or something like that. Y'all see that? Wow, I can't believe this is synthetic wig with kinky edges. This is this is interesting. Do y'all see a difference here between um, the side that is flat ironed versus the side that is not? What do you prefer? Let me know in the comments because obviously since I already put heat here, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. But I'm just wondering what your preference would be for your install. And just remember this is synthetic hair, so once you apply that heat, it's not gonna revert back to the curly, curly, curly edges. Human hair, yes, synthetic wigs, no. Okay, I'm gonna snip some more of this lace off. I feel like I left a lot more lace on than I normally do. I do have a widow's peak too, so that's another reason why I did, but, ooh child, did I get lace in my eye? Oh my God. So now I'm gonna use my Conair hot comb, which I actually got as a gift this year for my birthday from one of my dear friends. I really like just the look, and it heats up, it does what it's supposed to do. And I'm just gonna use this to get to these edges. I have it on 350 right now. Ooh, shit! <laughs> Girl, why are you burning yourself in 2024? Honey, I'm just smoothing them out a little bit. Maybe you could even go with the back part and smooth it out if you don't want to use the comb, for real, for real. So this is what the hairline is looking like. What do y'all think? The lace does go ear to ear, by the way, just so you know. But yeah, what are we thinking of this hairline? I think it looks pretty good, especially considering I haven't tweezed anything. I'm definitely here for the kinky edges. It's just that... Since they weren't matching, I had to apply some heat. Also, make sure you cut around the ear when it comes to the lace. Normally, I would have a hair clip, but I don't have it on hand right now. So I would pull it and then just cut around here. Whoop! Yikes! To conform to that. I'm not gluing this down though, so yeah. But let's talk about this actual hair. Straight out the pack when I unboxed this originally, it was tangling, right? And that is what I expect synthetic wigs to do. They tangle. I do wish that they did this with like a human hair blend because I don't know, like 
all of this. I'm used to it when it comes to synthetic wigs, but I don't know, I just would have liked to see human hair blend. But you know what? I got a new favorite detangling brush. This is the Unbrush. Everyone has been raving about it on TikTok. I got one and I absolutely love it. You'll definitely find this in my wig essentials list on Amazon. I've tried it on my natural hair. I've tried it on super tangly old damn near rotten synthetic wigs and honey this brush takes some tangles right out i don't know what it is what the technology is with these holes but this thing is amazing i i love it and now it's become a hair staple for me not just wigs just hair in general it makes my wash day so much easier y'all let's see it says 24 and yeah this has fallen on me yeah like 24 should I don't know, I feel rusty right now as I'm talking with y'all, maybe because it's been a while since I've done a tutorial. So if it's come across, my bad. I feel rusty. <laughs> I feel like I'm stumbling over my words. Uh, this is why I gotta get back consistent on here because I feel like YouTube challenges you to be on your A-game with the content. Now that I brushed it out, the texture is a lot better. Playing with the flat iron. Just to smooth out the top. Because guess what we don't want in 2024? Humpy <laughs> wigs. We don't want that. No, 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 Bookie. <laughs> in the past, you've also seen me use like my blow dryer to flatten on the top. That works as well. Next, I'm going in with my tried and true Maybelline pressed powder in the color 360. Trying to make this like a curve situation. Am I doing this right? Do I need to smooth out these edges a little bit more? This is what the parting space is looking like now. And lastly, I just want to address these corner pieces here. Like I was telling you, I would just fill it in. So I'm using like my dark brown eyebrow to fill that in because I'm not gluing this down. I'm also not cutting it all the way off either. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I do there. And doing the same thing on the other side. And don't be scared to use scissors, y'all. If you want to cut it a little higher, you can. I might just let my edges show a little bit and snip some more. You, you see what I'm saying? So here, I did cut off a tad bit more, and you see, that's what it's looking like. So this is the final look, y'all. What do you think? Sound off in the comments. Let's get into the pros and cons, shall we? Starting with the pros, of course, y'all know I love textured wigs, so the fact that this is a kinky straight wig, and the fact that this is from the Curls Kinks & Co line, which is all textured wigs, it just got me so excited to review this. Also, this is the first time that Curls Kinks & Co has come out with a frontal unit, so I was like, yo, let's see what it's hitting for, and I think they did a great job, y'all. First of all, let's get back up close and personal with the edges look at that that looks good that looks good and that is without me even tweezing anything look at that that looks super natural it's funny because when i first unboxed this i was unsure how much i would like this wig because i got some tailing out the pack and whatnot but now that i've brushed her out i am loving her i love that it's a 13 by 6 frontal so you have multiple parting options i love the light layering and i love the texture of the unit i'm loving the 24 inch length i also love that sensational is telling us the lengths of these wigs up front now i really appreciate that i'm loving the hd lace i'm really loving so much about this wig i love that the lace is actually ear to ear as far as the con the only con was just the tangling out of the pack that that gave me a little bit of concern but y'all already know me what am i gonna do i'm gonna use my simply styling silicone spray and now i'm gonna use my unbrush these two together dream team <laughs> so yes this this is good maybe this will be my new favorite kinky straight i don't i don't know i don't know what do y'all think i do think they gave us a lot of lace in the beginning that i had to cut off but 
That might work well for people with lower hairlines too. So you gotta think about that. Overall, I love that Sensational came out with this line because it gives us wigs that have human hair like qualities for an affordable price. If you've been wanting to try a Kinky Edges wig, but maybe the, those wigs are not within your price point, you have an option here with Sensational. So I really appreciate that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Sound off, have you bought any wigs from this line? Let me know. I'm here for it, so I hope you are too. And if you like what you see, consider subscribing, joining the Forever family. Thank y'all so much for your patience with me. I do have more wigs from this line coming up. Here's a little sneak peek of the Body Wave 14 wig. I'm loving it right now. Oh my God, I cannot wait. And I got Body Wave 16 also on the way. So look out for those wigs, y'all. And I need somebody to take me out. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining me. Check out the rest of my content over here. Premiere family, thanks for watching with me. Mwah! I will see y'all in the next video. I feel so good to be back. We're gonna get back to where we were, okay? Love y'all. Bye.